Brazilian coconuts, nature's original soft drink. Just crack the top and grab a straw. But on the beaches of Salvador, lemonade and beer are the drinks of choice, and sales are soaring. New breweries are springing up in areas with plentiful water supplies, like this forest region 120 kilometers to the northeast. The technology here is made in Germany by the plant engineering firm Cornus. Wolfgang Meyer has the job of keeping construction on time. When things get tough and problems turn up, then someone has to call the client. And that's usually my job. His colleague Fabio Keller enforces Brazil's workers' safety rules. When you work with your hands, wear your gloves. And Anna Fischer makes sure everything is put together properly. That's the wrong bean. That one's for the other pasteurizer. Parts have arrived today for the pasteurizer, a machine that stops the beer from spoiling. After a lengthy hold-up in customs, Cornus now hopes for a speedy installation. But the module was manufactured thousands of kilometers away in Germany, and that's created problems. The module doesn't fit. It has to be in place here, but this edge is in the way. It's not right. The preparation for this has not exactly been optimal. It's a huge oversight in an 88 million euro contract. There's no way to return the part. So what now? Problems like this can cause major delays. That's where Wolfgang Meyer steps in. The filling module is already complete, with the first shipment of beer scheduled for late July. That timeline now has to be pushed back, and Cornus will have to employ 60 German workers and subcontractors longer than planned. Every day costs money, and that money has to come from somewhere, either from us or from the client. Or we come to an agreement, but this is going to be a hot issue. The client is Petropolis, the third largest brewer in Brazil. Business has to be conducted in Portuguese. The beer market in Brazil is highly competitive and modern. That's why this brewery is expected to work efficiently. Out on the construction site, Fabio Keller sends one worker away to get a face mask. Brazil's safety regulations are much stricter than in Germany. Firms even have to make sure their workers drink every hour in the scorching heat. Failure to do so could result in a costly fine. The sun is very hot here and people dehydrate very quickly. If they don't drink enough at work, they could get sunstroke and not show up the next day because they're in the hospital. In spite of the tight regulations, there's always time for this. Bravo! Meanwhile, technicians are forced to improvise with a problem module. It's being cut to fit directly on site. Before long, another part of the production line is complete. For the 1,000 employees here, the working day ends after an eight-hour shift. Corner staff gather at the office before heading back to their hotel. But tonight, there'll be one brief stop along the way for a cold after-work beer. <laughs>